At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. You'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. The case of the United States versus Eugene Sisko III came to its conclusion in the U.S. District Courthouse in downtown Pikeville on Monday evening. According to court documents, the jury exited the courtroom at 11.29 a.m. to begin their deliberations and returned at 1.59 p.m. to deliver a verdict of guilty on two counts, one for wire fraud and a second for health care fraud. Proceedings began on Monday with attorneys for both parties presenting their closing arguments to the jury. Prosecutors spent their time during this session reminding jurors of both the methods and the extent to which fraudulent charges were assessed to patients of Cisco's Suboxone clinics. The defense, on the other hand, made use of their time by highlighting possible issues with the expertise of prosecution witnesses as well as underlining the fact that all of Cisco's patients chose to seek counseling at the defendant's drug treatment facilities of their own free will. The defense also reiterated the fact that being out of compliance with Medicaid is not, in and of itself, a criminal act. In the end, it took jurors only two and a half hours to return a verdict of guilty on all counts. The first count for wire fraud carries with it a maximum penalty of up to 20 years imprisonment. The second count for health care fraud carries with it a maximum penalty of up to 10 years imprisonment. Both counts also include significant fines. The total list of penalties also includes applicable restitution and forfeitures. Cisco remains free on bond pending a sentencing hearing that is currently scheduled for March 8th of next year. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joshua Sloan.